Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim and welcome back to Deutschland. I do hope you're doing very well and having a lovely day. So we are carrying almost immediately on from the events of the live stream we did last week here on Deutschland. Um, we finished, we got one of the grass, the second of the grass fields mode over there in the top right hand corner of the map. And we had that stuffed into the silage bunker here. So we now have in here... 567,598 litres and it is now completely compacted. Uh, I have made a purchase of just over 10,000 euros of this uh, silage compactor. Um, it is a modified one if you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I think it, it comes from a pack called the Crazy Silo Compactor Pack I think it is. Um, and this one at no extra cost adds, uh, it does it to uh, like a million times. So essentially because it, the reason why I did that is I was, uh, I was running it just with this tractor and the leveler just going back and to trying to compact it and it, for some reason it just seemed to take a lot longer than what i had expected it to do uh so my my patience got the better of me i suppose forked out 10 grand bought this thing turned it on lowered it in and like literally at the click of a finger it went from 32 percent compacted to 100 <laughs> percent um so yeah the joy of mods what can i say very happy with that one. Uh, it was it was becoming a bit of a mundane task. So that's all done now. So we can now, boom, blanket the silo. I know once now that I did do all the leveling, it does look like we could get another grass field in here if we wanted to. Uh, we do have that little strip of grassland at the top there that uh, came with the land that our farmhouse is on. Uh, but I'm not going to bother with that for for just now. There's, I can't imagine there's a huge amount of grass on that field, um, and I would just like to get this thing fermenting away. So there it is fermenting away excellent stuff so we've got a bit of stuff to crack on with in today's episode uh, over there in the distance the field that you can see that has been lined just underneath the church on the hill there obviously that's ours we need to run the cultivator in that field and get that ready for a seeding uh, obviously because we are following on from the last episode obviously the cows are all okay all the animals are okay for food etc i have just mucked out the this cow barn here with the this lovely contraption the uh, automatic uh, manure remover so we do have a good chunk of manure down here now i can't actually tell exactly what we've got here numerically um but i know obviously i've uh, mucked out the cow barn a handful of times so the plan is the idea is i'd like to get all of this picked up and the little quantity we have over here from the pigs we're going to get that loaded into the uh, trailer and we're going to take it over to the biogas plant and likewise with the slurry because i think we've got just under th between the cow barn here and the pig barn i suppose uh slurry capacity of both of those we've got just under thirty-five thousand liters of slurry so we're going to get that taken over to the biogas plant as well and make a little bit of money back now on onwards from that uh, obviously once we've got field 32 over there in the distance uh ran over with the cultivator we can afford to get something drilled into that field we are currently in the planting window of oats and canola i think it is uh, but if we were to wait till next month uh, and uh, spelt and rye as well and green rye but if we were to wait till next month we can also um factor in maybe a, a wheat and a barley as well so i'm not in too much of an immediate rush to get something drilled into those fields obviously onwards again from the live stream we did uh, our custom grass field i suppose you can call it that down here that's now been seeded with the grass and is growing away. Obviously, we can't see anything in it right now because, uh, it, well, as far as the, the game is concerned, it was done a few moments ago, which was uh, obviously in the uh, the live stream. But it does need rolling, so we need to get that sorted um, at some point. But it also does need topping up with fertilizer. A couple of the fields do. If I cop, if I jump very quickly into the precision farming menu, as you can see there, the, these are the two grass fields that we have done. They're harvested but they need topping up they need rolling again grass rolled uh, to promote the, the next growth stage and they need topping up with nitrogen the oat field up here needs topping up with nitrogen as does the grass and well they all do don't they really but obviously at the minute this field here does have a crop in that's got uh, oats in it i think if i remember correctly yeah we've got oats in there so that needs to be topped up with nitrogen does that need to be rolled i need to remind myself of that actually Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So that needs rolling as well. So plenty to do. So I think first and foremost, though, I'm going to crack on with uh, the shifting around of the manure and slurry. Now, I have just spent quite a bit of time uh, adding to my auto drive network. So the whole, hopefully it's all going to work. I have very briefly tested it. Um, 
but I'm going to try and put the whole movement of the manure and slurry and tipping over at the biogas plant there into a little bit of a cinematic. So uh, I, have, I will be employing the work of AutoDrive for all of that to try and present it to you in a bit of a cinematic form. So, what tractor should we use for this? I think we'll jump in the uh, we'll jump in the green one here while it's closer, shall we? We'll run round. We'll pick up the trailer and let's get sorted. Right, well, I do hope that cinematic came out okay. It's felt a bit higgledy-piggledy from here as I'm making the footage, but I hope it came out reasonably well anyway. So, one or two little, or one little hiccup, I suppose. You can see there's still a little bit of manure there in the bucket of the telehandler. Um, it seemed it was a little bit problematic 
problematic getting some of it picked up out of the the cow barn area at least anyway um, I think I'm a bit too far off to the left there on tight let's pull that in there we go that's a bit better that's more like it excellent yeah the uh, I'll just unhook this thing now and show you what I mean but uh, over here in the cow barn area of the manure couldn't get this lot picked up for some reason it's just not having any of it at all uh, and at one point I did the uh, the bucket seemed to get jammed underneath the uh, steel beams here it wasn't anywhere near it it was it was underneath it but it got jammed and almost flipped the uh, telehandler on its roof for some reason it went a bit funny I'm sure we've all experienced little uh, glitches like that before in the game but so anyway yeah I've got as much out of it as I can here uh, and during the making of the cinematic I, again the same thing was doing here I couldn't get the uh, the scrapings off the floor but I have managed to do that now uh, so at least uh, this is the this is the pig area the manure spawn for the pigs um, so I've got all of that out and it's still sat in the bucket so anyway um, income wise drum roll please <laughs> uh, 1704 euros so uh, not a huge amount uh, that is inclusive of a couple of very menial environmental score awards as well but nonetheless, it's an income. It's better than nothing. So at least we've uh, we've emptied the manure and the slurry pits for now into the biogas plant, just to get something in the bank anyway. Right. So I think now what I need to do, I'm going to jump in the telehandler. Um, we're going to hitch up the low loader trailer over there. I'm going to leave the bags of seed on there for now because I don't need to unload them. But I'm just going to take a trip over to the shop and pick up a couple of totes of liquid fertilizer. Um, so that we've got it here on the farm ready for when I want to uh, load up the sprayer and get increasing the nitrogen levels of the field so I think what I'll do for now is uh, just turn this thing off and we'll jump back in the telehandler and just leave this bucket somewhere for now and uh, hook up the pallet fork and as I say go pick up some uh, couple of totes, two or three perhaps just to make sure we've got plenty. There we go. Unhook that. And unhook that. There we go. Goodness me. My telehandler driving skills they leave a lot to be desired, don't they? <laughs> right, so anyway, I'll uh, pick you up in a few minutes' time when we're a bit closer to the shop. Right, here we go. Let's just pull up there. There's as good a place as any. I'll disconnect this trailer. There we go. So, let's jump into the pallet menu. Liquid fertilizer. Oh, 3,200 euros. Goodness me, I didn't appreciate it. it was that uh, expensive. Well, it is what it is. We're going to need some. So, I think we'll go for... So, what we've got there? 2,000 litres. Um... We'll go for two just for now, just to be safe. 6,400 euros is enough to spend out on that. Where's it gone? There we are. So let's uh, undo these straps at this end. Plenty of space to uh, fit them on. And let's all have a laugh at my telehandler skills again, shall we? <laughs> right. Let's bring ourselves in a bit closer, shall we? Bring those tines in a bit. There we go. There's one. That'll do. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> a bit wobbly. And the second one. Lovely stuff. Oh, that wasn't too painful, I suppose. <laughs> right. Let's get those uh, strapped on again. That'll do. That will do. Right. 
It'll take me a few minutes to get back because this thing uh, isn't the fastest of vehicles. So, see you back at the farm in a few moments' time. And we're back. So I'm just going to leave the low loader trailer here where it was before, just so it doesn't get in the way of anything. And so it's ready for us when we do need to load up with a bit of liquid fit. So let's spin this round. Stick this tidily out of the way back where it kind of lives over here next to the pig barn. We'll uh, run the green 724 there back round to the yard and we're going to jump in the 1050. Now... I'm going to do a bit of field cultivating, cultivating, sorry, over in field 32. I reckon that's uh, next on the agenda. So let's get around there. I'm going to need to reverse the, the horse cultivator stroke cedar just into the workshop very quickly and uh, unequip the seeding function again just to turn it into an actual cultivator. Get that done very quickly. And then make our way over to the field and uh, crack on with a bit more field work. And I also want this over here because the front weight needs to go on the front of the 1050. There we go. Let's drop that off there. And we can just stick this in here for now out of the way. And there we are stuff. I need to shift this one out of the way so that I can get the cultivator in. Musical machines, eh? <laughs> That'll do us just fine there for now. Tucked out of the way. Lovely stuff. Right, I'll get this up. Let's get this lot done. And I'll uh, pick you all back up again. And we're on the way over to the field. Right, so I think we can take this right hander up here because this is our field just here. Yeah, this is a there is a little bit of an access point here if I remember correctly. And we have got quite a bit of weeds in there that's uh, hopefully they'll get raised under with this thing when we're done. But hopefully as well, looking at the timetable of everything. Our grapes should be ready to harvest come next month, so I'm very excited for that, because as I said at the beginning of this series, I've never, ever, ever done grapes before. Uh, so I'm very keen to get doing that. Um, and also, just thinking on about the crops that we will be able to plant. And now, once we've done this, we're going to have two fields that are empty. Uh, this one here in field 52 on the other side of the map. Um, so we've got to, we'll have a choice of crops that we can get in there. But I'm thinking at the minute, just primarily, purely for financial reasons, with it being the most valuable crop, we might go for, uh, at least in this one anyway, with it being the bigger of the, the two arable fields that we've got, that we will have as empty, um, canola, just with it being the more valuable crop. So I'm thinking definitely for this one anyway. Uh, we do still have, I think it's about 40... 40,000 litres that we've got over in the silo. We can keep a good chunk of that back for pig food. Um, but yeah, as I say, purely for financial reasons, I think we might, for our first crop anyway in this one, go for canola, possibly a wheat in the other one, but we shall see. Anyway, right, so I think there's uh, nothing left to do but, uh, but crack on, eh?
And there we go. Job done. Cultivating finished. So now... Oh, yeah, bit of traffic. Now that leaves us in good stead now. We can get the uh, seeding function reattached to this. And that should be us done with uh, cultivating for a little bit now, anyway, at least. I think what I'm going to do now is get back to the farm, obviously. And we're going to play another few seconds of musical machinery, musical tractors. We're going to dig out the uh, fertilizer sprayer. Now that has a width of 18 meters. It's a Kubota thing. It's, uh, it's a pretty handy bit of kit, to be honest. 18 meters for a sprayer like that, I think, seems about the right kind of size for uh, for this map. I'll tell you what, actually, I've, I've pointed this out a couple of times, but I've uh, forgotten to show you, but when it comes to attention to detail in this map, it was little things like this. You see the, uh, the texture of the road and how it's kind of been resurfaced. It does it, it's in patches kind of along some of the roads uh, on the map. But I just love that little attention to detail, how it's been redone, essentially. The, the, the tarmacking's been redone and you've got that strip of slightly darker tarmac that you do see in real life. Um, and I just absolutely love that. I saw that and I was like, wow. You know, instead of just having the road network as one texture, they've gone through the, uh, I suppose, difficulty, I don't know, but just doing it as a different colour and a slightly different texture. I think it's just incredible, that attention to detail. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> just uh, I just wanted to point that out because I'd, uh, I'd mentioned it a couple of times in, uh, I think I did it in the live stream as well, but uh, I'd intended to point it out, assuming I was going to be at some around on one of these roads at some point, but didn't get around to it. Anyway, so yeah, back to the farm. We'll uh, hitch up the sprayer, top it up with a bit of uh, fertiliser, and get sorted in them fields. I kind of thought this would go horribly wrong, but so far, so good. The top one is moving around very slightly. But I'm just trying to be really careful. I suppose I'm just being lazy here, aren't I? Just save myself multiple trips going back and two, because the, the capacity of our sprayer is 7,500 litres, and obviously we've got, what have we got in front of us here? 4,000 litres, so... I figured we'd just get it both, get both of them round here attempting to do them do it even remotely properly there we go that'll do so let's jump in here turn on and we should be able to there we go refill let's bring up the heads up display eh? we'll get all four all four thousand liters loaded in there's one of them <laughs> right, fill up again yeah one more layer the fields I'm going to do at the minute, I'm going to do the oat field that's just round the back here. I'm going to do that one first, and then I'm going to do the grass, the, like the custom grass field that's at the bottom down here. Uh, obviously, I know we do have the field that we've just cultivated to do, uh, but obviously there's no crop in there yet, so I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to fertilise that until we've got the crop in there. Uh, and the same for the two grass fields that we've harvested so far and put into the um, silage bunker. Uh, yes, they're still grass fields; they're in a harvested state at the minute. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to wait till they've they've been rolled, and then I'll apply the fertilizer. It just seems whether I'm wrong or right with that, I don't know. But in my mind, it just seems the right thing to do. Do it that way round. So let's get cracking with this. Um, I am going to do this job off camera. Um, I don't think with the width of this being 18 meters, I don't think it's going to take me too long to do. Uh, and obviously, with the grass field being slightly awkward shape I suppose and with them having, having the two islands I don't know what the uh, course play and stuff will be like in that field with this big um, big width so and let's get this thing unfolded at least now let's uh, bring up my map there there we go as you can see a nice dark red well I'm saying nice it's a dark red we have automatic application rate on so there we go Let's go for it. There we go. Both fields fertilised, job done. And we still have 28% liquid fertiliser left in the tank, so it's uh, 
been pretty good and pretty economical in that respect. Obviously, I know it uh, with oats, they, that doesn't use a huge amount of fertilizer, and neither does grass. So jumping very quickly into the precision farming menu. There we go. As you can see, that's that. Now, obviously, don't worry about these little red snips in the corner there. That's all to do with the field trimming that I did um, prior to planting when I've just rounded off the corners a bit. That's the same case with this bit down here as well. So job done in that respect. Now, what I also did do uh, very well, say very quickly at the same time as I was running in here, uh, I ran the other 724 with the field roller in the oak field there. So again, popping forgive me very quickly back in as you can see this one's done and this one isn't so that's what we're going to crack on with now i've got the field roller and the green 724 just at the brow of the hill up here ready to go so we'll uh just part this up get it out of the way in fact i shall leave it just here so we can give it a bit of a clean off when we're done should be able to just squeeze into there there we go do. Lovely stuff. Right. And the reason I, di I did that because looking at the, the the date, it's the 2nd of September. I do have this set to two days per month and it just, it was one of those things that slipped to my mind. I thought uh, with the seeding and stuff that I've been potentially saying to myself that I can, I can afford to leave that till uh, the first day of October. Um, I can't do that with the field rolling because as soon as the crops start to sprout out the ground. I won't be able to run the roller, and I will use a very—I will lose a very small percentage of uh, of yield, won't I? So, anyway, let's crack on and get this done.
Right, there we go. Job done. Rolling finished. Now I do, we, we, we've got ourselves up to a nice point now, haven't we, where the drilled fields are now completely boxed off, completely finished. I'll just pull this one up here and uh, leave it there for now. Yeah, both the fields that we've got uh, crops growing in now are done. Fully topped up with lime, with fertiliser. They've been rolled. All done. So that's excellent. Now we've got two empty fields ready to crack on with. And of course, coming up very soon, will be my first go at some grapes. <laughs> so I'm uh, looking forward to that. That's. Uh, I think that's going to be next month. If I pop very quickly into the growth calendar there... So we've not got grass on there. So these are our uh, grape vineyards over here, these two there. And they look to be relatively dark green. And if we go very quickly to the crop calendar, scroll down to grapes, here we are. So we're now, obviously, we're now in September and the last day of September. So crossing forward into October should be. And we'll be able to get our hands on those. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, make use and start making a bit of money from those. Because obviously we do own the wine cellar that's over there. The production system. Um, obviously we've not done anything with that yet. But because we haven't got any grapes. So, fingers crossed we might be able to start getting in some kind of an income. Now I've got no idea of the time scale of how long things take when it comes to doing uh, grapes or anything like that. I'm a complete noob to them. So, uh, I shall just take them as it comes, so to speak. But I think for today we've had a good, we've made good use of the time anyway because it's uh, it's now quarter to four. It's been a lovely day all day so far. It's excellent stuff. But yeah, I think uh, we've made good use of the time. We've got everything we needed to do done. So that's excellent. So I think I am going to call it here for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I really do hope you have enjoyed the video and found it even remotely fun and interesting. As always, if you're new to my channel and you like my content, you like the way I'm doing things, please consider hitting that subscribe button and jumping on board, joining the channel. There is now an option to become a channel member as well, of course. If you're interested in supporting me, that would be greatly appreciative. And as always, there are a host of links in the video description below with my Giants Partner promo code. If any of you are in the market for purchasing a DLC, an add-on, a season pass, or even the full game itself, and you like the idea of helping out a content creator at the same time, again, I would be massively appreciative. So thanks again for your time, everyone. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.